Herschel Walker, has he officially announced that he's running uh, for the Senate in Georgia? This is Donald Trump's candidate, uh, Herschel Walker, a football player. He's got some things to overcome um, in his run. He has multiple uh, accusations of domestic abuse over the course of the past 20 years. He had um, some, I think, depression issues, which frankly, I don't think should be uh, something that's uh, terribly relevant, but it's going to come up in, in the context of politics. And there's also that he doesn't know much about government. I think that could be part of it. And then one of his other liabilities, and again, I don't think you should, um, the sins of the father should be attributed to the son or necessarily the sins of the son should be attributed to the father. But when they start actively campaigning for you, Sometimes you may have to account for it. Here is uh, Christian Walker, son of Georgia Senate candidate and former football legend Herschel Walker, at a gas station. And um, I don't know, have you seen those stickers that have like uh, Joe Biden and people put them at gas stations? They go like, uh, I did that. And it's the price of the, the gas. Uh oh, Gas is going down. But uh, get it while it's hot. And here is uh, Christian Walker in a video that he, he posted. Y'all said Joe Biden was going to be the great unifier. This is divisive to my bank account and my hard earned money. Screw your unity. You think this is unifying? Just keeps going up. Oh, just keep going up. Joe Biden. This is Joe Biden for you. Family struggling to afford to get to work. That's unifying. That's bringing the nation together. Screw this. Disgusting. Oh, just keep going. Keep going. Democrats voted for this. Democrats voted. For what the? Oh, wait, wait, what? I know this is a joke. But I was, I was voting for the guy who was gonna destroy America. You were paying $30 for gas under my guy. <laughs> now, first off, we should say uh, 20 gallons of gas is never gonna cost you 30 bucks, not at any time that any of you people were alive. Second of all, who's got a 20 uh, gallon gas tank? That's a big truck he's driving. It's a big, big boy. He's obviously using Supreme uh, gas as opposed to regular. And then there's that other little thing about his understanding of struggling folks. The sweatshirt that he's wearing, apparently. It says Givenchy on it. Yeah. Now, I'm not familiar with these things. But my understanding is that's a $1,500 hoodie. Uh, uh, $1,295, so you can get that. Apologies. Uh, can, you po can you pop that up? I mean, can, we, can, we, can you show me some proof of that? Because I cannot wrap my head around wearing a, 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 a Vinci hoodie. Em, embroidered hoodie for $1,295. Oh, they got financing. They can get a four interest free payments of $323. You know, here's the thing. Like, I, you know, I, I, I get these shirts that I'm wearing now. And I, I wait till they're Are on sale. Vinci? No, they're not no. Vinci. I wait for them to be on sale. Like I always, and, 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 and it's just in, invariably, if I spend more than 35 bucks on anything that I wear on the top of me, it will take about a day before I stain it with, I don't know, tomato sauce or red wine or drool. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's everybody's looking at there. I'm wearing a good fellow, which is, I believe the target brand of t-shirt. Okay. Right now, there, so you there you go. Stitch fixes is really the nicest stuff I have, but I'm always worried about wearing it because I'm afraid to get it stained. How do you, how do you wear a $1,500 sweatshirt? Oh, excuse me. A $1,300 sweatshirt. Cause it's tax. You right? wear it in a truck that has a 20 uh, gallon, uh, big tank. Yeah. Right. I really wonder. Um, but there he is, uh, voice of the people, Vox Populi, Christian Walker. Now, apparently, there were people out there, like in a million years, I wouldn't have known. I, it wouldn't occur to me, first of all, that a, a thirteen hundred dollar hoodie even existed. Never mind that that's what he was wearing. I, I wouldn't if I would have bet you every dollar I owned that there was no such thing as a thirteen hundred dollar hoodie. That is a uh, rent in a lot of cities. <laughs> it's 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 stunning. I I can't. I like honestly, like I can't. 
I, I can't I can't I can't get over it. <laughs> but apparently people noticed. And so uh, they commented and he came back with this video on the backlash. Um, I, I suspect that if if Herschel Walker has any campaign people, they're going, uh, Herschel, is there any chance that we can get maybe Christian to maybe dial it back a little bit? But here he is. The Democrats don't like me because <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> I'm sorry that my parents weren't lazy on the couch all day waiting for handouts. I'm sorry that they built businesses and won championships. And now I can shop at Fendi and Givenchy. <laughs> I just hope one day people realize it's not my fault that we work hard and built things worthwhile. <laughs> And scene. <laughs> All right. First off, let me just say, not good at that. I mean, the whole end scene thing was that he actually thought that he was f fooling people. And it really it was just like, my eight-year-old son is a better actor than this. Honestly. So... Put, put that aside. I love the part of like, I'm sorry my parents weren't lazy and sitting on the couch. I mean, let's be clear. The, I, I don't know. If Christian Walker had a business that he created all by himself. I mean, if this was a story where like I left home at age 17. And um, it was rough at first, but I got a, I got a, I got a job you know, working at the supermarket, and then I uh, paid my way through college, and then um, I, I got a job where I uh, raised money, and I earned all this money, and that's how I got my Givenchy thing. That would be something that I could see him bragging about. He does say he did at least do some time as a William Sonoma cash register, so okay, I don't know if that's where the Givenchy uh, hoodies and the giant truck. But. but he's literally talking, mocking people who are mocking him for complaining about working people with a $1,500, excuse me, $1,300 hoodie, and then responding with, well, I deserve this hoodie because my parents are rich. <laughs> yes, my parents worked hard. Let me go, yeah, drive around, yeah, the giant truck. My parents are rich, so I deserve this $1,300 hoodie. Don't you plebes get it? I, I mean, like, honestly, who is the market for that? Is there a single voter out there who goes, you know what? I like this kid. I think rich people. Like, uh, Here's a one quote tweet that I found. Everyone's dunking on this guy for being wealthy because of his clothing, which isn't proof. Okay. <laughs> um, and commenting on gas prices. So, so should rich people not care about inflation? Should you not care about people who can't afford gas if you can't afford it? It makes no sense. I mean, I would say... Wait, 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 wait. That was not Greenwald. But... <laughs> wait, what? Would Greenwald said this? No, no, Greenwald responds to this. Yeah. Oh, all right. What, what, what does Glenn Greenwald have to say about this? So, yeah, here's Glenn's verdict. Uh, let's see. His dad is Herschel Walker. He never worked a day in his life. I mean, we don't know if that's true, but um, it, 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 I suspect. Right, he, and so Christian says, William Sonoma Cash Register again. I don't know how long that was to, you know, be able to just splash out on $1,300 hoodies, but. May take a little bit. May yeah. take a little bit. I don't know what William Sonoma pays their, regist their cash registers, but then here's Glenn's. Wait, wait. I worked at William Sonoma Cash Register. Okay. While winning two world championships and skipping a grade? Yeah, I don't know what his championships are. Maybe he does some sports or something. Too. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Herschel Walker's son, Christian, is black, gay, young, very smart, and very independent-minded. <clears throat> He's going to be driving liberals absolutely crazy for a very long time to come. I'm not sure the fact that he's black or gay or young uh, or very smart or very independent-minded is really why he's going to be driving liberals crazy. In fact, I would like to see, I'm not even convinced that he's driving liberals crazy as it is now. In fact, I would imagine that if you were to poll all the liberals and anybody who 
wanted to see Warnock beat Herschel Walker, I think you could get year and near unanimity that there should be more of Christian Walker out there. Is there anybody who could look at this and say, like, Christian Walker is an asset to uh, Herschel Walker's campaign? Uh, you know, I'm divided on that because I actually think he kind of does speak to where the Republican Party needs to go. Like, th th this is from his uh, Wikipedia. As of June 2021, Walker had over th uh, th almost 400,000 followers on Instagram. He amassed uh, 400,000 on TikTok by posting political commentary videos in the Starbucks drive through Walker was permanently suspended from the platform in February 2021. In December 2020, the official UCLA Twitter account tweeted, UCLA's dean of students is aware of remarks in which a student uses hurtful language on social media. This was widely considered a response to numerous emails the dean had received regarding Walker's online comments. Walker later posted a video uh, claiming UCLA was persecuting him for, quote, not falling into their communistic totalitarian politics. Uh, All right. I mean, that's all well and good, but the formula to become a right-wing celebrity is not necessarily the formula to win a Georgia, Georgia Senate. Senate seat. Right. Uh, let's be clear on that. And, you know, I mean, I would follow him on uh tiktok and instagram he has some great material about um mcdonald's is a liberal company because it's out of ice cream uh in the drive through so i think there's probably an argument some very independent argument to stuff. be made um but it really is amazing how uh how much glenn is on online there really it's he something really else is, i mean just i don't know if this is, is this one have a connection to teal it used to be just like blake masters and jd vance like the republican candidates glenn is a really big he's got his eye on republican electoral politics really closely yeah sometimes i think probably um there's probably different ways in which you can get uh surrogates activated sometimes it probably could be on a per race basis or it could also be in like you buy like a um like a, a pack like you know <laughs> And uh, you just use those, um, you know, you just, you, you buy a period of time to be a, a surrogate. Don't know. But um, that's very uh, smart, very independent minded. Thanks for that, um, you know, badge of approval. Like sh shovel attention that kid's way. I'm sure it'll be good for everybody, including Christian Walker. There you go. I mean, there's, this is a new potential audience for Substack uh, subscribers. So why wouldn't you? <laughs> Drive through ranters. Exactly.